In this problem, we're told a person stands, hands at his side, on a platform that is rotating at a rate of 0.9 revolutions per second. If he raises his arms to a horizontal position, the speed of the rotation decreases to 0.7 revolutions per second. A, why is this? And B, by what factor has his moment of inertia changed? So let's just start with A. So I'm just going to give a quick explanation for A. And so the reason this is, is because the moment of inertia is higher. And because the moment of uh, inertia is higher, basically means that he's going to be slowing down. And so yeah, that's the reason for A, but let's focus on B here. So by what factor has his moment of inertia changed? So before we write this, or before we solve uh, B, let's write down what we're given. So it's going to be starting. The rotating rate is 0.9 revolutions per second. That's the uh, initial rate. So the initial angular velocity is going to be 0.9 revolutions per second. And then the final, it's going to slow down to 0.7. So 0.7 revolutions per second. So it's going to be initial and final angular velocity. And so the way we're going to show by what factor it's changed is by doing uh, using the laws of conservation of angular momentum, which basically just means that angular uh, the initial angular momentum is equal to the final angular momentum, right? And so we can just rewrite this is because we know uh, L is equal to inertia multiplied by angular velocity, right? So we can just say I times omega initial is equal to I times omega final, right? So what we can do is say, we're trying to find the factor the inertia has changed. So we can isolate inertia by dividing uh, by dividing both sides by omega final, right? So if you go ahead and do that, you're going to get that inertia, right? This is inertia final. This is inertia initial, right? And so if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get inertia final is equal to inertia initial multiplied by uh, initial angular velocity over final angular velocity, right? And so what you should notice is we can plug in both these values, right? We have both of these. So it's going to be equal to 0.9 over 0.7 times the initial, uh, the uh, moment of inertia initial, right? And that's what we're trying to find, right? So if you do 0.9 divided by 0.7, you should get... 1.286 times the initial uh, moment of inertia, right? And so you can see what it changes by. It changes by a factor of 1.286 essentially, right, from the initial, right? So we're just multiplying by this and it's gonna change by a factor of that. So yeah, that's just what you should notice. You could just say 1.3, whatever your teacher wants you to write. So it changes by a factor of 1.3. But yeah, so essentially it's just gonna be uh, 1.3, that's the factor it's going to change by. So this right here is gonna be your answer to B and hopefully you found this useful.